Okay, so um, I'm going to write a quick instant messaging app, app page, HTML, PHP, MySQL thing. It's not really an app, it's going to run in a web browser um, and it's going to be pretty much like a chat room, a really primitive chat room. But um, I thought it would be an interesting one to do. I, I need to learn some Ajax for a project I'm working on. Um, I just thought that while I was reading up on Ajax, uh, an instant messaging chat room thing would be a, a prime case for uh, some using some Ajax. So I thought, well, how hard can it be to write one? So um, I'm going to write one. So uh, I've got my web server running. I've got an IDE, which is like a development platform um, called Codiad. Not really sure. Look it up. It's actually really useful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new project, and I'm just going to call it I am. Uh, create a new project, boom, I am, and we'll create a new page. Uh, so we'll, we'll create the first page, which will be um, index.php. I like PHP, so I'm going to use PHP. Um, and I, I can't sort of know where I want to go with this, so I'm going to have another page, um, which is called the sidebar.php. Again, I like PHP. Um, and I'm going to have another one, which will be... Um, send, well, it will be, what should I call it, new message dot php, um, and then we'll have one called messages dot php, uh, and this will become apparent as to what these are for later on. So let's go ahead and get cracking with the index. So initially I want, it's going to be an open access platform. So anyone can visit this page and basically put in their details uh, and they will have access to this chat room. Um, it's probably not going to be a great thing to use like that in practice. Um, but hey ho, whatever. Um, this is just so I can play around with some Ajax at a later date. So head, we need a title. My um, my HTML is pretty rough, by the way, so please ignore all the mistakes. Uh, title, chat room, question mark. Uh, let's that. Right, chat room, blah, 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 head. So now we need the body, so body. Uh, I'm kind of assuming that everyone can understand basic HTML, so I'm not going to um, um, align, uh, not going to go over too much what I'm doing. Have I spelled that right? I don't know. Uh, center. Uh, I'm not really sure if you can do a V-line. But I'm going to stick it in anyway. Don't work, don't work. Um, middle. Top, middle, bottom I think it is. Um, and what should we put in? So we're going to put a form in. Um, form. Because we want to take some information. So the form needs an action, which is the page it will go to. Uh, and it also needs a method. Uh, what should I use post or get? Um, I'm use post, I think. Yeah. Uh, use post. Oh, post like so. Um, I actually need another page as well. No, nope, I will do it in a. Uh, how can I do this? What's the best way to do it? Uh, no, I'll put another page in. So new file, and I shall call this one chat room .php. Again, like PHP, chat room .php. So let's go back to index. Right. Uh, so when this form is filled in, it will push you to the chat room .php um, file, um, which will make sense in a minute. Right, so save those. Um, Form. So this form needs to have two things in it. Um, so the first thing is we need uh, an input. So input type equals um, what's the type? Text. Uh, and it also needs a name. So name equals username. Mm, yeah, that seems about right. Uh, yeah. Uh, we also need to submit. So 
input, is it input or submit? Uh, uh, yes, input. It's an input. I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. Input equals um, type equals submit. Um, name equals enter, I think, maybe. Again, my my HTML uh, is very lacking. So, save that. Um, so, let's reload that page. So, this is the project. Uh, and here we go. So I should probably put the username in so you know that that's please enter your username. Uh, please enter your your is it your 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 name below. Uh, let's get rid of that e, lowercase e. Please enter your name below. Um, page uh, line break. So say that. Da, da, da. Let me get this page. So please enter your name below. Matt, there we go. Now we're into chat room. Okay, brilliant. So, first thing we'll do is we'll get the chat room page um, and we'll get that quickly just to make sure that it is working. We'll get that to reply with um, the post variable. So we'll echo uh, dollar underscore post. I think it was name, maybe. We'll put that in like that. Possibly, not sure. Uh, reload that page. So continue. Didn't work. The post. Did I do post or get? Post. Oh, it's username. That's why. Username. Save that page. Reload this page. Confirm the submissions. There we go. Hey. So we can put in our name. Let's go Bob. And Bob is returned as our name. So good, we're passing variables into, into the, the right page. So, now I'm gonna use some old um, HTML, which is now depreciated of HTML5, but whatever, it kind of works, so I'm gonna use it. It's pretty nasty, um, but hey-ho. It's called framing. Um, a lot of old like routers and stuff used to use framing just because it was an easy way for them to put like lots of information in little tiny um, bits and pieces like small pages to make a big page rather than having like if you look at what Facebook does with its messenger that's all done by JavaScript and Ajax whereas in the old days it might have been done with a frame that was on the side of the page so I'm going the old route, old route. Uh, I'm going to use some frames um, but obviously this is old code you shouldn't really use this anymore so uh, yeah, ignore this bit. I'm just using it to make it work. So frame set and calls equal. Uh, uh, let's get this right because like that. Uh, so I'm going to have two horizontal columns, and then you'll see where those other pages over here, where these all fit in, in a minute. Um, so I'm going to set the the left hand column. Be, I think it's 200 pits and then leave that to be a star which means fill the remaining um, I think this is going back a, a while now um, so I need to put a frame in so frame is it frame I think it's frame frame I'm not sure if it has to be capitals but mm, yeah frame equals source which is src um, so one thing with this platform that I'm coding in is it, it always adds things, which is helpful if you don't know to close stuff, but if you're used to closing things and then going back and inputting them, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, so we're gonna in, we're gonna have the um, sidebar uh, here dot php. It's quite important, uh, and then we're gonna have a nested frame set. Yeah, nested frame sets. Well, hey. Uh, so we'll put that in, and this is going to have rows. Um, oh, I've done it again. There we go. So rows, um, and basically I'm going to have a big row and then a small row. I can come back and edit these sizes. Um, so the star means take up all available um, space that's left, and 200 is picks. So pixels. Um, you can do percentages as well, I think. This is like going back to when tables were the 
greatest thing on earth. Um, anyway, so this is going to have two rows. So a frame. So I'll see, I could just copy and paste this, but uh, I'm not going to. So frame. Actually, no, I will. So we'll stick another one of those in. So copy, paste. Of course, copy that. Da, da, da. Mm -mm -mm. And then we need to end our frame sets. Frame set. And so that's the first one. And then we need to do a second one. So second one. Boom. So, um, so this will be the sidebar page, which will go on the left. This bit here will be our messages. Um, this will make a bit more sense in a minute when I put some content in and show you this page, hopefully. And this will be new message. Um, message. PHP. So we'll save that page. Um, so I'm just going to put some stuff in here. This will be messages. Uh, save. And this one will be. Oh, that's new message. New message. Uh, Say this one will just be old messages. Say so if I go back here and refresh this page, uh, yeah. So we have our old messages up here, which is this is going to be our sort of chat window, and this new message bit down here will be for our new um, new messages. And you can probably oh I need to do this stupid Mac. You probably see that as I make it smaller, the um, the bottom unit stays the same height so that will be good in the long term and if I close if I make it smaller this way you can see the uh, the left hand sidebar also stays the same width it's not really that important at the moment but you know whatever it's quite useful to me so in the sidebar the first thing I'm going to do um, this is where I'm going to echo uh, so I'm going to have this bit of code here which I should have taken out a minute ago uh, so in the sidebar, I'm just going to put in the username. Uh, I'm just going to put echo in there as well. Echo. Oh, no, that one. My name is. Uh, so yeah, this my code. Uh, can I reload just the frame? No. So there we go. My name is. Where's that gone? Oh, maybe it's not working. Index. Enter your name, Bob. Oh, of course, of course. Um, the reason why that isn't going to work is because I need to do some session stuff. Um, I need to move it from because obviously the post is only moved between two pages. So you post variables from one page into another page, or you get variables in a page. But if you want to distribute something within many pages that are dynamic um, you need to use some session stuff um, this is not a problem so uh, let's just do it here doesn't overly matter where you do this um, in this page but what we'll do is we're going to input some PHP uh, this is why I like PHP and this is session underscore start so what this does is it starts a session variable so a session is something that's stored within your cookies you get a cookie ID that relates to a session you can store stuff inside your session on the server side um, like variables which is where we're going to store um, the username which means that all of the pages can then access it simultaneously because the session is shared amongst every page that you load from your browser session, um, i.e. the cookie. So that's a really bad ex explanation of how it works, but yeah. So what we'll do is we'll do that here. Uh, I don't need to double nest the PHP, that's a bad idea. Uh, so we'll save that as well. Uh, and in the chat room up the top here, before this, I need to put some thing in here. So what we'll do. Uh, oh, I've copied the wrong stuff. Uh, that's what I need to copy. Session start. That isn't going to work. Boom. So save that page. So chat room. So what we need to do is we need session start. So we'll get the post username, and then what we'll do is we're going to put that into a session variable. So session. Is it underscore session? 
Yeah, we'll find out in a minute. Session. Um, what should we call it? Username. Let's keep it consistent. Username equals. Um, we don't want that. Let's so check that out for a minute. Equals this. So that means we've now basically we've moved our username from our post variable, um, which get passed from page to page, into our session variables which means that all of our pages will now be able to use it. So we don't want to use post anymore, we want to use session. So session, uh, save that page. I think I've saved all the pages. Right, let's reload all of these pages. Continue. Hey, my name is Bob. So now if we go back to index.php. So what is my name? Uh, QWERTY is my name. There we go. My name is QWERTY. You can see it up here. Perfect. So we're getting variables passed between the pages. We're storing that in session, which means that each of these frames individually can now access the session stored variables, which is quite useful when you want a, a username to be passed between all of your pages. If we had like a login with like an email and a password, then after the password and username is correct, you'd create a session. And then that session you can use to store like a user ID, which identifies to the other end that that's a, a user um, that's using from the other end. It's not the most secure way of doing it, but it is probably the most widely used um, thing. So, oh, I don't need that. That's what I was looking at earlier. Uh, cool. So, um, what should we do next? The next thing we probably need to do is create a database um, with a table for all of the messages. So, uh, I've got my PHP MyAdmin um, installed. So, what we'll do is we'll create a database. So, create database, what should we call it? We'll call it I am just because. It's similar, there we go, create table, what should we call it? Messages, messages, yeah, message, cool. So we'll call this one message ID, we'll make that a small int, no, small int, uh, unsigned index, we'll make it the primary key. Yeah, okay, or increment, because we don't really care about that, it's just useful. Um, message itself, we'll, what should we do? Let's go for a var chart, keep it simple. Var chart length 255. Um, yeah, give it a timestamp. Um, timestamp based around where's the timestamp? Timestamp, and what we'll do is we'll make that the current timestamp. Um, oh, we need a username, username. Um, let's make those a var chart as well. 255, let's keep it simple. The 255 is just legacy I think you can have longer than 255 now uh, is it going to tell me what I can have yeah yeah you can have longer than 255 uh, this is um, MySQL 5.5 I think I don't know it's whatever came with um, Ubuntu when I installed it on a VM running on a server somewhere so uh, what do we need messages timestamp username message ID yeah that'll do so there we go so let's put in a message um, insert so I'm going to leave the message ID blank because we had an auto increment on that, so it's not really that useful. So what we'll do is we'll put message one in there by let's go Bob, keep it with Bob, so, and we'll have another message as well for Bob. Um, and we'll call this one message two. So go put those in, boom. So now when we look at our messages, we have message one, we have message two. You can see the auto increment on the message ID. Um, you can see my inaccuracies with my consistency and we have two different timestamps but now I'm going to insert some more so this one will be message three uh, and we're going to use Bob as well so Bob boom go uh, and now when we look at our messages we have different timestamps and um, this is going to be useful because in our chat room up here we're going to use the timestamps to order the messages so that the messages all come up in the correct order so let's go to our old messages uh, old messages so where's old messages old messages is messages there we go so old messages so in this page we're going to do some html um, with php inside it so html i could just copy and paste this uh, i probably should just copy and paste this oh no I don't because i don't need to, i do need a head uh, this is quite important um, because i'm going to do another really naughty thing and put a meter refresh in here these go back way back uh, HTTP equiv. Is it equiv? E Q I V. 
I think it's that. Um, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. So, and then it's refresh. So this will refresh the frame, not the whole page, just the frame um, that I'm working with. So basically, what this is going to do is keep refreshing so that all of those messages are displayed. And it will refresh so that it gets the messages from the server every time. Uh, and I'm going to be really silly and say two seconds. Um, so this says refresh the page every two seconds. Uh, that's the end of the head. So now we need body, uh, body, da, 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 da. Um, body, cool. And then in here, we are going to, um, oh, I can't do it. Right. In here, we're going to put some PHP. So I press my PHP. And down here, we'll close the PHP. Now I can put a comment in, which will say this is where the messages from the server will go. So, um, the next thing to do will be to put in uh, some SQL uh, or MySQL so that we can put some information into and get some information out of uh, the database that we're going to store all of our messages in. So, uh, I never, I can never remember how to do this. So, Google is our friend. Uh, what are we going to do? So we are going to Google PHP MySQL um, list list rows something like that. Uh, this is possibly going to be good. Possibly crap. Uh, don't know how's that one? Let's go this one. Nope, don't want that one. We want a while. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, display table is HTML. That'll do. Uh, uh, uh. So, first thing we need to do is create a connection to the database. This doesn't look right either. Well, not right, it doesn't look familiar. Um, that looks rather generic. It's probably actually really good code, but. Uh, probably would have been quicker just to load up one of my other pages. Uh, right, okay, so. We'll use this one just because. So we'll connect to a database. Uh, connect localhost. Yeah, so my PHP server and my SQL server are on the same machine, so localhost will be fine. I'm not going to use root, I'm going to create a new user. Um, operations, maybe? Uh, privileges? Add user, there we go. So we're going to call this user IM. User, uh, host any blah blah blah, password, I am user, totally insecure. Um, that'll do. So, on which database is going to be on? Create database. Grant privileges on database I am, yep. Uh, so, select, insert, update, delete file we're not going to need structure none of this structure we're going to need uh, administration gone none of this we're going to need because this user is only going to be to put data into the the database and out of the database um so that will that'll do i think so yeah i am user yeah so uh it will be i am user uh, i am user um should probably put an or die in here, yeah. So they've got one. Oh, brilliant! Perfect. Uh, let's copy the whole lot of that. 
So yeah, I am a bit of a glue coder actually. Um, if you know what that means, then brilliant. If not, please look it up. Uh, stupid Mac keyboard. There we go. Right. So basically, it says connect to the database. If you can't connect, die and give a message. So, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put else in there just for a minute. So else uh, echo e e c h o. Um, ah, my um, my echoes are not consistent as well. Um, whoop whoop. It's the oh, I can't do that. I have to do forward slash. It's the sound. It's a forward slash or maybe it's backward slash. Backward slash. It's the sound of the police. Yeah. So uh, now when we run the chat room again, I'll just reload all the pages. But I'll we'll continue. We'll, we'll piss out the piece. So good. We can connect to. Oh, that will refresh probably every couple of minutes, couple of seconds as well. Um, which is good. So we are connecting to our database with that user. Perfect. So next thing to do is we're going to um, grab all... Oh no, we need to connect to the database. See, this is why using example helps. I never remember these kind of things. So, um, select the database. Our database was IM. Um, does that need to... That should... Um, inconsistent should be in little thingies. Product index. Very well. It'll do. And I'm just going to copy this. An end while? What? That's wrong. Okay, whatever. So, <clears throat> basically just copying all of their stuff. Oh well. Uh, select star from, what do they call the table? Messages? I think we call it messages. I don't even know. Messages? Yeah, messages. Where? Oh, let's get rid of the where for a minute. Um, cool. So fetch results, convert lots into an array. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I want to fetch row. My SQL fetch row example. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, more using MySQL or MySQLi? Oh dear me, it should be MySQLi. Uh, this Mac is running silly hot. Okay, let's get rid of that, don't need that. So, there's my query, um, which is run as query, and then it should be, uh, yeah. Yeah. Example one, where's example two? Why do you have number one if you don't have a number two? That's silly. It should be more than one row. Ah, there we go, right. Let's do it in procedural style, just because I'm more familiar with this. So we have our query, we get out. Ah, oh, this is the one I want. This is the one I want. Right. Um, I'm just going to dump it there for a minute. So, query is that. This is a much better way of doing it. This is why I didn't like that example. It did look weird. Um, actually, I'm going to go back and I'm going to keep this. So, query the database. So, I'm going to select star, which is all fields, from uh, IM, which is instant messaging, no, from messages, uh, order by, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do timestamp. Uh, and I'm going to say limit by 50. I think that's 50. I can't remember what that limit is. So I'm going to take the limit out. We'll put that back in later. Timestamp descending. Uh, yeah, it might be the wrong way. It might be the wrong way. I don't know. Um, 
so here we go so while there is rows available we are going to echo out uh, um, basically and at the end of every line we're going to put a break so we are going to echo out dollar row uh, let's put dot in there dot that there we go um, dollar row what was it message I think it was message let's have a look messages columns yeah message uh, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to say username first. So we're going to do dollar row username. So that I'm going to put in there. We're going to put says, says. That may or may not be correct. But I'm just going to leave it on that. So so and so says message break and it will just fill up with those so um, and then yeah this free result I think clears the um, clears the results we can use it again so if that then that da 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 fetch the array blah 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 close connection yeah you need to close your connections afterwards I see this so many times and I've done it so many times where you forget to close your connections um, it's not good for your SQL so Let's have a look, see if that works. So reload the pages. Continue. No, it doesn't work. So what have I done wrong? Uh, link, link, query, MySQLI, 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 UI. Let's put it back in the else. E-L-S-E, else. Okay. Uh, good spot incorrectly. Reload all the pages. Continue blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Right. That means I have made a mistake. Echo. Echo. There we go. That's probably the mistake. Mm -hmm. We're good. That's why we're not getting any messages. Select star from messages. M E S S A G E S. M E S S A G E S. Spot correctly. Correct. Order by timestamp. Timestamp spelled correctly. So you know let's just get rid of that order by for a minute. Let's get rid of that order by. So next star from messages. Yeah. That's the thing. Nope. I think. No. Why are you not working? I wonder if it's my SQL is wrong. Hmm. Don't think so. Oh yes. No database selected. This one SQL. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, bugger. I don't see what it's saying. Uh, I didn't really... There we go. Um, right. Why was this going wrong then? Why is it select? Yeah, that's probably why. That's probably why. What you should be doing, or what I should be doing, is putting the database here. So I am, and then removing this. Let's see if that works. Uh, 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 Reload. Two. Hey! So, it's picking up three messages, which is good, but it's not outputting the code. So, is it username? A username a field? Username. Username is a field. So what have I done wrong? Uh, uh, maybe what I should be doing is using the numbers. Let's see if I can do that. So it'll be uh, three maybe. 
I don't know which way around these come out, so it'd be 0, 1, 2, 3, yeah. So 2, 1, no, 0, 1, 1 is the one I want. So 1, I'll uh, we'll do that now. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's see if that works. Do, 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 do. Reload, reload. Bob says, yay, message 1, message 2, message 3. We're good, so I need to remove that. Okay. Um, so we'll get rid of, in fact, I'm not, I'm just going to echo that, um, comment that out. I probably need another coffee if I'm going to do this. So let's save that and then we'll close that like that. So this picks out our messages. Save that, go back, load. But this bit should be reloading every two seconds as per this. Have I got this wrong? Possibly I have. Let's Google it. Give me an example. Oh, an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll just copy and paste. Change it to two. I'm oh, sure that was right. Refresh. What we'll do is we'll quickly put an echo in there and see if it refreshes the page. Echo, rad. oh no, let's put a random number in there. Grand, more than 100, blah blah blah. Save that, and let's see what happens. Hey, 31, 79. Okay, so it is refreshing the page, good. Good, good, good. Because, and the reason why we need that to refresh the page is because obviously as soon as we add another message in here, we want it to be input and being shown back. So that is essentially our chat window up here, this window finished. So now we just do our new message window down here. Now our new message window is just going to take the data and um, input it into um, input it into that, that table. So again, we're going to be using PHP because why not? Um, in fact, do I need to use PHP? Um, yeah, I do need to use PHP because I'm going to use the form to refresh to the same page and then use the post variables to input the data again. So, uh, yeah, that makes sense. So what we'll do is we'll grab, grab the post details. Um, so we need to, what do we need to grab? Well, I'll only do one, won't it? What will it be? Um, so we'll stick the message, call it message, call it a variable message, or we'll have the post is message. This will make sense in a minute. So we're going to put the message as, into a post variable called message, and we'll call it message. Um, and then we also need to grab the username, so we'll grab the user name. We'll grab that from our session variables. See, we're using session lol, <laughs> session, use those session variables, why not, so yeah, uh, we'll use a uh, name, is what I called it, um, timestamp and message ID will automatically be created, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go back into that SQL, which is in here, so link will nab all of this information, uh, new message, I could have done this all within one, so then we don't need to use two lots of SQL links, one for reading, one for writing. We could have used two different users to make it more secure, but this is a bit of a bit of a hack. I'm trying I don't even know how long I've been doing this. No, I don't know. Maybe an hour. So is yeah, whatever. Um what do I need to do? So 
I've linked to the database, I now need to write that information to the database. So I'm going to cheat uh, and I'm going to look up SQL insert. Insert PHP, boom, there we go. Uh, MySQL connect, blah, 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 blah. So, insert into that, with that. That's what I want, yes. But I want to do it procedural wise because make it nice. So, I need that bit, right? Copy that, boom, boom. Insert into, so, uh, this will be our table, so this will be messages. Um, and we're going to put in message. We don't need to put in a timestamp because the default will automatically put in the current timestamp. So we're just going to put in the message and the username. Um, and if I remember my PHP, which I don't, I think I just do message username. Um, and that should be it. I should also um, actually, yeah, let's do that. So, MySQL I um, injection. So, SQL has this thing called injection, which is where if you know how uh, SQL works, you can inject some code, which means that you can do stuff like drop, which is never good, which means basically you. you lose your database. Um, so what we're going to use, uh, this is the one I want to, this is the one I want to use, real escape, uh, real escape string, um, which basically just makes the connection, um, so this is the one we want, as you can see. Um, so let's see if there's an example. So example, a Okay, object oriented procedural. Uh, so it goes after connection query, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Right, oh, here we go. So after this, what we're going to do is we're going to, in fact, I'm going to grab this. Uh, let me paste that first. So I'm going to grab these two. Stick them. You have to do this after you've created the link uh, or the connection to the database because the real escape string uses that link to evaluate what characters set you are allowed within your database. So um, I'm going to copy the beginning bit of this so link. Uh, I'm going to put that there and there. I need to close those off properly as well, which is like so. And like so, I don't need this anymore. So this just stops people from doing some SQL injection into this. Not that they can really do much more damage, really, because all they've got is insert and uh, select. So this is why you should always have users, like SQL users, with very limited um, access, because then you don't need to worry too much about injection unless you've got a user where they need to be able to delete stuff and then potentially they could do an injection which just deletes everything which is not what you want uh, but whatever uh, anyway yeah so uh, I'll get rid of that page so this takes the post variable uh, and it should stick it straight into the database uh, I also need to close No, no messages. Yeah, my scroll like close. So we'll grab that as well. And message close. Now, this isn't ideal because actually this is gonna. Um, the first time you load this page, like here, it's gonna ask you for a new message and it's gonna run this code already. So what we should be doing is we should do is an is set. Um, so if is set that then do this okay so so if the post it's underscore post so it's 
dollar underscore post if message oh hang on a sec someone's coming in I'm pause the video so yeah if there's no message we don't want um, the page to process any message if there isn't a message then it shouldn't really be processing nothing that doesn't make sense so therefore we you know if is set I think that is that right is set PHP I can remember it might have an exclamation mark over it so uh, description blah 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 returns true if var exists or has value other than null false otherwise so if the variable exists then it's true so if, if the post message exists then it's true so if true process it and then we want it to display yeah that's gonna work so and then we want it to display the input of a message which you can probably guess it is gonna be some HTML so um, it'll be a form uh, with the action action will be um, new message dot PHP so this is just going to do the frame it's not going to do the whole page so this is another advantage of framing is that if you if you have a thing inside a frame that, that refreshes just that frame it won't refresh all of the frames just the frame that you're in um, yeah so new message dot PHP uh, method um, post again um, so let's end the form first form end so we're going to want to put uh, oh, inconsistency uh, let's put an input in inputs um, what's this input for so this is going to be type so I think we might put a text box in. Um, yeah, maybe we'll put a text box in if I can remember. How do we do a text box? This is not good. I've just got a coffee, but it hasn't kicked in. So we go type equals, and um, we'll go name equals. Well, the name has to equal message because that's what we're using up here. So post message. Is what we're going to put in. So, uh, message, um, mm -mm. and then we also need to submit. So, echo, um, which will be an input type equals submit. Uh, is it name or value? Hmm. Uh, index. Is it name or value? Uh, name. Mm, new message. Uh, name equals. Mm, mm, mm. What should we call it? Submit, enter, post. What do you call it in a chat room? Send. That's the one. Submit equals send. Uh, I think it needs to be a text box. So text boxes are done. Um, they're not an input, are they? A text area. Text A R E A text area. Uh, type equals text, maybe. Um, need to give it a name. Oh, no, you don't need a type because it's a text area. <laughs> so text area name equals message, and then we need to give it a rows and columns. Rows and columns. So rows equals that, and no, 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 it needs to be this. No, no, that. Um, rows and coals. So um, rows. How many rows? Three, three rows is good for the machine Columns. I know. Fifty characters. I, I don't even know if that is right text area and then we need to end the text area I think text area is like a select where you have a separate um, start and finish tag within HTML oh, well we'll see we'll see what happens so reload message nothing
Hmm. Reload. Ah, uh, reload. Ah, uh, reload. Continue. Reload, continue. There we go. So, message here and submit. Why does that submit not work? Action new message.php. Why don't I just write form action new message.php method equals post? That's right. Maybe I need to put it inside some HTML. Uh, that'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Such an obvious mistake. Body and then the HTML. Mm. It's a bit messy, but whatever. Window frame. Hi. Submit. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. So I've obviously done something wrong. We'll just go back to doing input input type equals text name for the message from the well with respect to that um, yeah do it like that right so oh, reload oh no reload frame hi submit Hmm. Why is it not working? Uh, obviously we're done. I've made an error. There we go. That might be why. Oopsie. We no frame. Hi. Submit. Hey, there we go. Well, it didn't write it. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. So, hi. So, what we'll do is we're going to put our previous message into our next message. So, head body, 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 body. So, in here, we're going to put a quick test. Okay. And we're going to put our. Oh, no, I don't need to do that. So, we're going to put our, um, our previous message in here. So, post. Um, and it was message, I think. So, message. Is it message? Yeah, message. So, we'll do that. Blah, blah, blah. So. Hi, how, how are you? There you go. So it is working. So why is it not writing to the database? So dollar underscore post message, blah, blah, blah. Message username, message username. Insert into message is, is it messages or message? And of course it's locked me out. Messages, insert into message, message. Insert into messages. Message. So insert into messages, message username. Huh. Mm. Maybe, maybe it's a space there. Oh, I see why. I haven't actually executed that SQL. So I need to run the query, which will be. Um, It'll be something like this. I'll use this if it works. It probably won't actually. Maybe it will. So result equals link query, where the query equals the SQL. Uh, I need to end that one as well. This may work. Hi. Oh, yeah. I'm good, thank you. Nope, still doesn't like it. Why is it not liking it?
Let me get rid of the if for a moment. See if that works. Or no. Okay. Well, boo. Uh, Bob. So this means every time it loads a page. So, okay, so Bob says boo. Right, okay, so this is where the problem is. So it's here. I wonder if I have to put thingies around it. Um, message. See if this works. So, hi. Bob says hi. Okay, so it must be this one. So we've got a username. Save. Oh, I realise I'm. Oh, I've looked in as QWERTY. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it's not pulling it from session. Of course, it isn't, because believe it or not, I haven't done session start, which is why this isn't working. So let me get rid of this one. So let me do that. If is set, so blank send. Okay, so blank send. Okay, so it's still sending a blank. But what happens when I reload the whole page? So nothing happens when I resend the whole page. Obviously, if I submit it, it's submitting a blank. Perfect. So, um, Mm -mm. I need to session underscore start somewhere. Where's the session link session? So in here, oh, I'll just do it at the top. So session start. If you don't put the session underscore start in, it means it can't access the session variables, which is what happened a minute ago, um, which is why I couldn't put the username in, which is probably why it was failing. So there we go. Let's see if it says Bob says now or Quirky says, hey, no, it didn't work. Right. My name is, oh, of course, I haven't put it in. So uh, index.php. There we go. Index. Please enter my name. Zoom. There we go. Zoom. So zoom. Zoom says pow. There we go. No. Zoom. Zoom. Zoom says pow. Zoom. So why is that not work? So username. Message. Username. Username. Let me scrape screen. Session. S E S S. It's probably wrong. Always something silly, isn't it? Session. Zoom says zoom. Zoom says zoom. There we go. Perfect. So um, we almost have a fully functioning chat room. Actually, that is a chat room, right? Yeah. Huh. I wonder if it actually works. Let me uh, let me see if I can get my someone else in my household to, uh, to have a go. Let's see if someone's available. Uh, 192.168.2.61 forward slash oh, IDE forward slash workspace workspace forward slash I Shift I, Shift M, boom. I wonder what it looks like on a on something that's different, that's not a a screen. Huh. I'm just going to try it from my iPhone. Um, let's see if it works now. So, iPhone user says, hello world. Oh, it actually works. It looks absolutely horrid on an iPhone, but it works. Oh, Testbot. Hello, my name is Testbot. <laughs> 
Let, let's see if this works. Pi test bar. There we go. So this is this is a, a functioning chat room. Um, wow, this was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But there we go. So I think that's in like under an hour. Well, near enough. So yeah, that's the end of this. I I probably won't put up my code just because it's really horrible. Um, and you've seen what I've done, so you can recreate it and you can make this really horrible chat room if you so wish. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, nice to meet you too, Testbot. To meet you too. Smiley face. So this is really primitive. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and I, I probably will have another video using some Ajax rather than frames just to get this HTML5 compliant. Um, so yeah, subscribe. Big thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you don't like this video. Comment if you can think of better ways to do the same thing. But bearing in mind, this was written as you go within an hour. I'm not a professional coder. This is just glue code. So yeah, thanks for watching.